Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be fixing this little VW Polo. It got in a bit of a smash. Um, so we're just going to be fixing that. The car itself is in a very, very good condition and well looked after. Um, the airbags didn't pop and the chassis uh, hasn't bent. Uh, it's just the front part here, the bonnet and so on. It got a bit of a smash. Lady drove into the back of a car and had a little bit of a boo boo, and um, this was the result. So, what we're going to be doing is we'll be taking off the bonnet and the, the bumper and the lights and the grills and the radiator and the aircon radiator and the fans and so on. And basically, just take off everything that is broken on the car, lay it out on the floor, make a list of everything that needs to be replaced, go and buy that, um, put it back on the car. And when that is all done, we'll just give the new bonnet and the new bumper a nice lick of paint and just blend the sides so that um, the color will match perfectly. And that is going to be it. So this is going to be a quick job, but I think the results are going to be quite nice. So yeah, let's start taking everything apart. Okay guys, so there we go, everything stripped off that got damaged in the little accident. It went so quickly that I don't even think it would have been necessary to do a time lapse of me taking everything apart. It just, it, it, I think I spent maybe half an hour taking everything apart. Um, what I, I did not realize was that the air conditioner was still charged even though it had this bad shot in the front here but there was still a refrigerant in the air conditioner so when I loosened the bolts it all came blowing out but that's not a crisis but at least now I can make a list of all the small bits and bobs that I need to go and buy and I'll get that plus the bonnet plus the bumper and uh, I'll fit everything and I think it'll go as quickly as it did to take everything apart this fender here has got a little bit of a bump uh, yeah, a very very small one. Um, I'm just gonna panel beat that one a little bit, just bend it and adjust it. But um, when I paint the bonnet and I paint the 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 bumper, I need to um, spray some of the silver paint onto this part, this panel that I'm not painting completely, just to blend the colors in, because painting silver is very difficult to match the color exactly so I just blend some of the base coat a little bit and then I put a, a layer of clear coat over this fender and the other one when I paint the bonnet and the bumper but that's it now I'm gonna go and buy the stuff that I need and I'll see you in a second with all the new goodies okay cool guys so what I did was I bought everything that I needed that I made a list of for this car brand new um, I've got the, the lights over there, I've got the cowling for the f radiators, I've got the radiators, I've got the, the, the bumper stiffener, the badges, the grill, the bonnet, the bumper, everything. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to paint that brand new bumper with a primer that is suitable for plastic. And then I can wet sand that one and I can also wet sand the bonnet. And I already had some paint mixed then I can paint the bonnet and the bumper and then all that needs to be done is to put everything back onto the car I'm also just gonna um, I don't even want to call it panel bead but just manipulate that fender there and see how that goes and then I can blend the paint into the old fenders and put some clear coat onto it and that should be it so let's get to it
Okay guys, so I'm going to paint the bonnet on the car so that I can blend the silver into the fenders properly but I just want to paint the underside of the bonnet first and let it dry and then mount it to the car and then I can do the top and do a clear coat as well. I am devastated they gave me the wrong bonnet I should have checked I didn't I checked everything else except for the bonnet and this bonnet is not right that little indentation over there is not the same as on that bonnet apart from that everything else looks almost exactly the same but that indentation means that this bonnet does not fit on that car I thought maybe it was like a facelift or something like that but it wasn't this is the wrong bonnet I already painted it and now I'm gonna have to throw this bonnet away and go and buy another one <sighs> goodness all right well let's just do it okay guys so I am back with a new bonnet there's the old one this time I double checked to make sure that they are exactly the same and I also took the time to just make sure that all the other parts that I bought was for this specific car. That was a rookie mistake from my side. But not to worry, I'm going to paint the underside of this one and then we're going to fit it on the car and continue with the work. Let's do it. Okay guys, so now that I've got the bonnet on, I spent some time just to align it and make sure that the gaps were super tight and close and um, I'm happy with that. This side's also looking nice except that it obviously needs to lift up with the spacer, the rubber spacer, but it's the fit is awesome. Um, what needs to happen now is I'm going to mask off um, everything that I'm not going to be painting and then I'm going to just scuff up this fender and the other one um, so that paint will stick to it and then I'm going to also even though this uh, bonnet is brand new it's got some very very minor dents that you can see there in the sunlight so I need to just put a little, little bit of filler on there and just sand it down nicely so that it will be smooth and if all that is done then I can give it a layer of silver paint, two layers of paint and, and just mist over to this fender as well so that it will blend properly and if I'm satisfied with that I can give everything a nice two coats of clear and the same needs to happen with the bumper and if all that's done and dry then I can finally assemble the core and get it ready to give back to the client.
Okay guys, so I left the paint to dry for a couple of hours and then I demasked everything and the paint came out very very well um, I'd say about an 8 out of 10 except for the fact that there was some dust that fell on the final coat but I'm any case going to flatten polish that out so that the texture of the clear would be the same as the rest of the car but I've got to say that the color match came out phenomenally well so kudos to the guys at the paint shop that mixed the silver um, yeah so what I need to do now is start assembling everything so let's continue Once again, I made another mistake. They gave me the wrong headlight. It, they look almost exactly the same, but I just realized this one has got a silver inside, that one's got a black inside. But the thing is that, apart from that, it fits perfectly on that line over there, where this one does not fit at all. This is the wrong headlight. Damn, now I need to go back and swap that one around. And it's going to waste another couple of hours of my day but i need to do that so i'll see you guys in a second okay guys so after many hours of driving and a whole lot of struggle i got some new headlights i chose to take both new ones so that they would match up exactly and now i'm going to install it and continue with the work
Okay guys, so there we go, done and dusted. After I polished, or flatted and polished the car, I reconnected all the piping and the battery and I replenished the water and antifreeze and I also regassed the air conditioner and gave the car a nice wash and it is done. I can take it back to the client. It is, um, I'm, I'm stoked with how the paintwork came out. That's always the most important part with, with repairing a car like this. But yeah, everything came out perfectly. And I think that the client's also going to be stoked. So there we go, guys. Thank you for joining me once again with this video. And I hope to see you next time. Cheers.